Hey there with AgriSpray Drones. With me I have the Agris T25. I'm gonna show you guys the mapping capabilities. Now I don't mean boundary making. This right here that you guys are seeing on the screen, this is a boundary, this is our spray boundary. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about actually creating an orthomosaic map, bound, or orthomosaic imagery with the camera that's on the front of this drone here. We have a really good camera. Obviously you can see right here, we have a really good camera on the front of this drone. And that camera can actually do the same thing that our Mavic can do, um, which is orthomosaic imagery. To do that, you wanna go up to your task setting. You can select either route mapping or what they call fruit tree mapping. Basically it's either two dimensional mapping or three dimensional mapping. Route mapping is 2D. Fruit tree mapping is three dimensions, meaning it can sense the height of these trees here behind us. And I'll show you guys probably, we'll do the route mapping today, just to keep it simple. And we use this sometimes if we wanna do some spot spraying, we wanted to update the imagery of the field. We have satellite imagery here, but if we wanted to do actual imagery live from today, this is how we do it. So we start by clicking on there. Then we're going to add a boundary for it to fly. This is the same as, as you would if you were making a boundary for it to spray. And we can either do an area route where you see it's gonna fly back and forth across that entire area or a boundary route where it's just gonna fly the perimeter. So if you just wanted to see a live updated image of like where the tree line is at, that's what you would do. We'll do an area route. We'll do medium resolution. And I'll just do one real quick right here where we're at. Nothing too big. We'll get some trees in there too. Uh, so there you go, mapped area about six acres. It's gonna take about four minutes to fly it. So we're gonna save that. And that's it, we just have to hit start. Now, caveat to that, you do have to have RTK. You see on the screen here, we've got RTK hooked up. You go into your settings, you go into RTK settings, and we have RTK positioning turned on and we have selected a custom RTK network. We use DigiFarm. It's a really, really uh, easy to use cellular RTK. All you have to have is a hotspot on your phone and you have to have an account with DigiFarm and be in their service area. And then you've got cellular RTK that is accurate, repeatable and reliable. So we're on that system. Now we're gonna start. I'll hit start and we will back away from the drone and take off. So drone's gonna go to about 80 or 90 feet altitude, point that camera straight down and start taking pictures. There you see it's going to that start point right there now. This works just like spraying, only 90 foot up in the air. Instead of spraying, we're just taking pictures. This is gonna take a little bit. We'll come back to you guys. Remember this is part's done. Our 25 has landed back down here. It just mapped out uh, that whole area is on the screen here. You can see that it's got uh, a bunch of images here. And right now what it's doing is it's processing those and reconstructing those. And it's gonna look, make this jumbled mess of uh, pictures uh, look like a very highly detailed satellite image. We'll get back to you whenever this is done. So the reconstruction of this image set is now done. It has reconstructed everything. And if we zoom in here, you can see that we have a live updated image Right there's our pickup truck, right? and that was not on the satellite image before. You can see, see where it flew, you can see where uh, the satellite image from Google Maps is, and where the image that we took is. So from here we can do a couple things. We can identify a field. So if you actually, if we actually mapped out this entire field, the whole, you know, 20 acres here, um, then it would obviously be one solid color, most, mostly anyways and we could hit identify field and it would actually create that field boundary for us. Uh, but instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to route planning. We're actually gonna exit out of here to make this a little bit easier. And now what we can do is we can click add and we can use this satellite image or this drone imagery here to actually create a flight route mission. 
And there you see right there, that's that area of, uh, of poor health uh, soybeans. Um, and you can see like if you have a big spot of weeds, you can see that too. So we can come in here and we can actually add in a spray mission right here. If you wanted to go, you know, hit a spot that maybe had nutrient deficiency or had a spot of weeds based on set of imagery, you can find that spot and everything else is the same from here on out. The same way that you map any other field for spraying, do it just like this. But now we've got updated drone imagery to do that with. Very useful tool, even more useful on the orchard mapping or 3D mapping we talked about. If you guys want to spray trees like this, you want to get the heights of those trees, or you want to spray an actual orchard, or you want to spray a hillside that goes literally this steep, a mountain slope, forestry, they work perfect for that. If you guys want to see more of this, want to see a demo of a T25 for yourself, we have dealers nationwide, and they'd be happy to educate you and get you into this technology. Let us know if you want to find out more. Thanks.